So recently I found that I couldn't activate an Airbnb account, um, basically because the, race, uh, the facial recognition software couldn't match um, to photographs or photo ID of me. And so I ended up having my white male partner uh, make the booking for me. Um, so my question is, um, with AI fed by data sources of the past, how do we avoid AI bias and reinforcing discrimination? So you had to ask your male partner to do it because the AI wasn't across you? Sadly so. <laughs> OK, Katrina. Yeah, a bit close to my heart. Thank you. What a great question. Just so everybody sort of understands how it works, if we, if we think simply how AI works, there's a data set, there's algorithms, there's analytics, decision-making and automation. And so it really does start with the data sets. And, and to train the algorithms, data sets have to be collected from somewhere, usually society, and often society does not have good representation of the full population in its data sets because that's how biased we've been historically. And those historical sets are used to train the machines that are going to make decisions of the future, like what happened to um, Francesca. Yeah. And so it is staggering that this is still the case. And it's Airbnb, right? Yeah. You think a big international global company would get that shit sorted, but they still haven't. And we've seen that over and over again, even with the big brands and tech companies, that they are still using data sets that haven't been properly transformed to reflect the population, and it continues on. Mm. That must have been really shocking for you, Francesca. Yeah, it was actually really funny because it was interesting timing with what was going on in the classroom for me. So I'm a maths educator and at that exact time we were talking statistics in class and we were talking about data bias um, and the collection of data and obviously also how um, data can be misrepresentative. And, and I think we just looked at a statistic about, about how 34% of, you know, a darker coloured women are like... 34% more likely to be um, misrepresented um, than their whiter male counterparts. So, Which is staggering, Rad, because if you look at the like something like Airbnb, your point, you'd think the capitalism would sort it out and yet still... <laughs> <laughs> just in right. terms of consumer numbers. Like, there are lots of brown women. So capitalism why hasn't capitalism... the brown woman dollar. Doesn't it, though? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does. Because it's, it's pretty interested in most dollars. Yes, yeah. it is. But also, getting those different data sets is an investment. And if you're working with new technologies, there's already a cost in implementation to begin with. It's not necessarily at the forefront of your mind to be like, oh, and we need to make sure that it's diverse and we need to make sure that those data sets are giving us what, you know, a, a diverse data set. So, because the technology is still new, I think it's very easy for them to get very excited that it's being implemented at all. But if I can be a little bit optimistic, because we love optimism here, um, I think that <laughs> we, it is... We need it, kind of, we need, We need yeah. a bit of it. I think it's one of those areas that really puts a spotlight on these biases, because you have real examples where something doesn't work. It's very easy to ignore a bias when it's just like, oh, you know, maybe I didn't get promoted maybe uh, over a um, co-worker and maybe that was because of bias, maybe it wasn't. When it's a little bit more hidden, it's easier to ignore. But when it's, I literally cannot use this service because the AI isn't working, then that really makes you go, hang on a second, we have a real problem here. Mm. This is... This is neither a technical problem nor a capitalism problem. This is a regulatory problem. We have racial discrimination laws mm. and we should be applying them forcefully right. so that it's in Airbnb's interest to get it right. We know actually technically how to fix this. We know how to, to actually make the algorithms so that they will Does be... Does it surprise you, Francesca's story? No, not at all. That's, that's so sad and disappointing that it's not in Airbnb's interest, financial interest, enough to get it right, because if they, if it was, there are, it, it's not a technically, algorithmically impossible problem to solve. It's just they don't care enough. And this is why um, Lorraine Finlay, the Human Rights Commissioner, and I've been talking in the media about human rights by design in addition to just ethical by design, mm. and, and this is needed. Michael? AI is not magic, right? It is a tool 
And in all of our tools are reflections of us, us. as a society. And um, I, you know, I think Rad's point is, is extraordinarily pertinent. The idea that I, I'm willing to bet exactly the same thing has happened in the past, except it was a dude who just ignored you, right? And the, the nefarious and insidious aspect of that is that it was hidden. It's your word against someone else's, and now, now it's a repeatable bit of computer code. And you can show that this bias really exists. I actually am hopeful, hopeful, not optimistic, hopeful that... <laughs> is that like a notch down? It's, well, it's one below. Uh, it's, it's like half a, half a rung down the ladder. I like that. I'm hopeful that this will actually shine a light on some of the biases that have been present for decades or centuries and may help us start a conversation to address them. How much is the CSIRO in your work aware of that kind of bias? CSIRO is absolutely aware of that bias. I think anybody working in the space is aware of the bias. I think the other way to think about addressing it over time is to make sure that the people that are developing the technology also come from a diverse background. Mm. And we've seen that challenge in STEM for as long as STEM has been around. And we've made a little bit of progress, but it's certainly... It's quite incremental, though, it's isn't it? It's incremental. Mm. And, you know, I think, again, if we had women of colour who were designing the algorithms that went into Airbnb, I bet my bottom dollar that the algorithms would be better at the end. So I think we need that diversity.